Welcome back in this morning. Today is the day of education because we're going to teach you a little Spanish today with help from Alex Chandler. He is the Spanish teacher at Belfry High School. He's also brought along with him Kendra Gannon and Nathan Copley. Is it Copley or Copley? Copley. Copley, okay. <laughs> uh, there are students at Belfry and... We are also going to talk about a fundraising effort that they are doing because they're going to travel to Puerto Rico at the end of the school year. So good morning to each of you. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to have you. Now, we were talking a little bit before we came on the air that I may or may not ask you some questions that I want you to answer in Spanish. So what I want to do, pretty easy. I know Nathan's been a little bit nervous. It's okay. (laughs) Uh, I want want you to introduce each of yourselves in Spanish, please. Uh, Okay. Me llamo Nathan. Mm Mm-hmm. Me llamo Kendra. Y buenos días, me llamo Señor Chandler. See, there you go. Now, that's a little different. You get that different from the teacher. Now, thank you all for being here this morning. Now, uh, it's so important to have a second language. Now, I understand that you're pretty fluent mm-hmm. in, um, in Spanish, but you all are raising funds right now to take a big trip. So, uh, Mr. Chandler, tell us a little bit about the trip that's coming up. Yeah, so the reason we decided that we wanted to take our Spanish 3 students to Puerto Rico is they have been spending this semester actually teaching the elementary schools uh, Spanish. So they have been going inside each of the three elementary schools in the area and teaching the students basic Spanish vocab. So they're working like teachers, and and one of the jokes that the students said at the beginning of the year is, hey, if we're going to be teachers, we should get paid, right? And I said, well, we're not going to get paid, but but we'll we'll try and raise funds to go on a trip to Puerto Rico. We'll take a big vacation. Well, I I think I'd take that. Hey, Kendra, so how has it been teaching the little ones Spanish? It's really a great experience to just see them smiling and really enjoying to be able to learn different things. And it's good to see the strive that they have to want to learn this and they have a very very want to learn more and they are, they're always encouraged and very they really eager. inspire me because they're always laughing and smiling and just having a really good time now have you given much thought to when you graduate from college being a teacher um i don't think i would be a teacher but i just see i can see how hard teachers work and i know it's a lot on them and i've yeah. really gained a lot of respect for them Wonderful thing to say. Of course, respect for your own teachers. Now, how about you, Nathan? I know uh, it has to be fun teaching the little guys and gals and going in there. What's some of the funniest questions you've had? Uh, well, on the first day that we went into the elementary school to start teaching, I had tons of students. They all wanted to know like simple words like watermelon and pancakes. <laughs> and just, Did you know those words when you yeah, went in to tell yeah. them? So what is watermelon? Is it Sandia. Really? Yes. Huh? What about a pancake? Uh, pancakes. <laughs> Pretty easy one. Uh, it's pancakes. Well, it sounds, but now watermelon doesn't sound the same. No, no. Because a lot of their words do sound, mm-hmm. do sound very similar, but now that, the watermelon does not. Mm-hmm. So good rewarding experience for you as well. Oh, yes. I, I definitely enjoy it because just the enthusiasm and you can just see it in their eyes that they want to learn at such a young age. Yeah. And it's just, it's really great. Well, that is wonderful. Now, uh, I know that it's m- very hard work to raise the money. So tell us how you're doing that and how we can help out. Yeah, definitely. So we have a couple of different fundraising programs that, we, that we've started. Um, we've done a couple of events. We've got an event this Thursday down at Southside Mall uh, for students to come and do some uh, arts and crafts at the, at the mall uh, from 5 to 8. Another thing that we're going to start in the next couple of weeks, and we'll be sure to announce it on the, on the radio, is we're going to start an Indiegogo campaign, mm-hmm. uh, which is like a, a crowdfunding kind of thing online. We're going to have a video with some, some of the students talking about uh, the reasons they want to go. We have a couple of students who have never seen a beach before and have never traveled traveled outside the country so you're going to hear from their experiences and and find ways to donate as of right now i mean any donations uh, uh, that, that could be made out written checks to belfry high school i mean we'd be accepting accepting them as of now so just a lot of different things that we're trying to trying to do sounds like a lot of fun again if you would like to donate to sending the spanish three students to puerto rico at the end of the year rewarding all their hard work you can contact uh, alex chandler chandler he is the spanish teacher at belfry high school and uh, we'll certainly have your events coming up in the few in the next few weeks about uh, your fundraising efforts Great. guys thanks thank you